half drafts written, over 40 cities and 27 national and state parks visited, 137 videos created, and 23 books read. Hey guys, I'm Kate. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to the final video of 2018. I just threw out so many numbers at you, some I honestly can't even believe when I put them in that context. <laughs> because, okay, right, I'm a huge fan of goals and goal setting, but oftentimes what happens like this year is that I don't actually achieve all of my goals or any of my goals. <laughs> None of the big ones at least, not in the way that I can cross through them like a to-do list. There's always some kind of asterisk that I have to put next to them where it's like kind of sort of but my point in saying all of this though is that oh my gosh I did so much this year. So many wonderful amazing fun fantastic some other adjective that I can't think of right now things. I did so many things. So many things that I am so proud of myself for and really ultimately that's what goal setting is for me. A way to work towards something that I take pride in that I built and created whether that's in a very real form like a novel that didn't exist before I like wrote it into fruition or a feeling of belonging or self-esteem that I didn't have before I set out on a four-month solo road trip across the country. <laughs> and I wanted my last video of the year to be selfishly for me as a reminder of that greatness. That no matter what I in quotes accomplished or was able to check off my goals list for the year, that I survived and thrived in a whole nother year of my life. That I made new friends, that I read new books, that I created new stories, that I shared new parts of myself that I hadn't shared before whether that was in person or or on screen. That I got to see the world in a new way, whether that was by visiting somewhere I'd only dreamed of before, or having a conversation and listening to someone with a perspective that I'd never heard of. These are all such wonderful, fantastic, worthy things of discussion, and when I look back on 2018, these are the things that I'm going to remember. But of course, I have compared what I did in quotes accomplished to the goals that I set, and I will link all of that down below in the description if you kind of want to see it match up, because of course, Y'all know me. I couldn't not do it. <laughs> I think the setting and creation and striving for these goals is so key to who I am and who I want to continually become. But I think the most important thing as I'm leaving behind 2018 is to remind myself of these adjective defying things that I've done and lived. And I want you to please also comment down below and let me know the thing that you've done this year that you are most proud of or the moment that you enjoyed the most or the conversation that helped you to change your perspective. Let me know what you will remember most fondly about 2018 and I will see you all in the new year. Bye! Also, these are all of my sticky notes that I had to make to come up with those numbers at the beginning. So much math. It keeps trying to focus on the little face on my cup. Should I turn it? No, it's fine. Fantastic things and what is happening?